I'm gonna go kill your sister. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Remember last episode when the girl got... Oh, I forgot about that, because I think that's what they, they needed. Oh, wait, who died? Oh, him. Forgot about him, too. Man, he was a bit of a dickhead, anyway. Yeah, it's Granted, fine. So they, they, they all were. <laughs> he likes him. I'm not sure if it's reciprocal, but... Oh, no, the kid. She's just sleepy. <laughs> You're here. Of course she is, man, because as I said in episode oh. three reaction, she's got that plot armor. I mean, you are right. Did he kill your dad too? Holy shit, fuck. Is she gonna have, is this the start of her character arc? This is the start of her character arc where she starts to befriend him. If that isn't it, then- Let's uh, go. Why is your doll coming after me? Because I told him to. You gave that thing to my sister. You knew what he was and you put him in my house anyway. Why would he say that? When it was more like Chucky told him. Yeah, he should have said Chucky manipulated me. Yeah, because that's pretty much what he did as well. You can say like, he may be the doll, but I was the puppet. <laughs> if you want some like pretentious dialogue like that. I don't know why he's kind of made it seem like he fully told Chucky A will kill her. When in reality, it was more like He killer. implied and then Chucky was like, hey, yo, you need to kill this hoe. Yeah. Did you tell him to kill me? No. Oh my fucking god. Uh... No, Dane, please don't tell me that this writing is gonna go stinky, man. <laughs> I'll allow it for now. You're still alive. Oliver isn't he died in the fire. Fire? That wouldn't have even happened if you didn't send that thing after me. Why did he phrase it like that? Why did he phrase it like that? It's annoying me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit of a dum dum on his part. I'm sleepy. Damn, she really sleepy. Oh, why didn't Chucky save her? That's mean of Chucky. Is Caroline gonna be okay? Suddenly you care about your little sister's well-being? Oh. That's funny. Oh, for fuck's sake, these parents are fucking dog shit. <laughs> fucking hell. None of this is my fault, Jake. Jake. Lexi, Jake wasn't even there. Can you torture that poor boy enough? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, no, I hate these parents. No, oh my god, I hate them so much. It was a matter of time before something like this happened. We don't know how the fire started. My daughter is in the ICU and right my now. My Hayden's son is dead, thanks to your negligence. Her kid's the one with that podcast. What? Dirty. Okay, so I know this oh, isn't bad writing, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is bad writing at all, but the vibe to this episode is just a bit off. Annoying. I'm not saying the writing is bad, so don't come at me, but I am saying there's just some off about this episode, and I can just feel it. It's just like, uh... Maybe don't use flashlights. You know, just giving off your location if the police do see. To Neverland! Wait, so is that Chucky? Yeah, the big kid is Chucky. There! Who's that? Who is that? It's Captain Hook. No, oh, that same night. Hey man, you like those maggots? You got guts, kid. You got guts, kid? <laughs> Isn't that what the, uh... the other Donnie said? Yeah. So loved. Affects her. Anxiety or depression? Both. See, and that's when you call me, I'd be a therapist. I'm, I'm the therapist out of the both of us, man. Come on, we know this. I also have other people that come to me with their problems. I'm the therapist out of both of us, man. Stop lying to yourself. But who gives better therapy? That's the question. Me. Well then, uh, do a quick therapy session with this Don then. You've seen a bit into his life. You know what he'd probably complain about. Give him some advice. Me forget about Lexi, all right? Lexi is not important to you right now, and she never will be. Not now, not that future, not even the past. She is not significant. Your cousin, one day he'll learn to respect you. And, uh... I hear that boy that you want. He wants to be friends with you, man. So go for it. And don't listen to Chucky. Because if you do, you, you're a bit of an idiot. You know Chucky wouldn't be up there. Yeah, this isn't like some final boss fight where he's just going to be in the same place. Again, the writing, it's just a bit off. All of this happened because of you. Happy now? I'm not happy. I can't remember the last time I was. Me neither. Oh, fuck oh, off. Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> you. This is not the start of her character arc, man. Yeah. No, he still um, smells, man. I can't be bothered. I'm sad. I think she'll never have that character arc, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Wait, what, what's, what happened last episode between uh, this Don and Chucky again? He gave Chucky to the girl. Yeah, so why is he scared? <clears throat> Never mind, man. Dean...
Well, I, I guess it's because he knows what Chucky can do. Because no, he but witnessed. he already knew that. He knows that Chucky's ruthless already, and he's talked to him quite easily. Remember, he killed the flipping, what, the mermaid? And ran straight upstairs and was like, what is wrong with you? Mermaid? <laughs> he didn't just get upset. He wanted to kill me. Oh. I didn't know what else to do. He's rephrasing this the worst way he possibly can. <laughs> he wanted to kill her, but I think that's natural when, you know, she makes fun of your dead dad. He's also giving the impression... That like he came up with the idea to kill her. Yeah. Like, because you fucking deserved it. Okay, man. <laughs> Damn, he's mangled. <sighs> what the fuck is this episode? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Chucky's design makes at least a bit of sense because he was in a fire. But what we saw of that, though, I mean, do you remember what we saw of that day? And he was he was uh, pretty fine in that fire. That had the explosion, man. No, explosion. no, 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 because think about it. He was right next to Lexi, man, and Lexi got out pretty fine. So what the fuck did he do, man? Not so fast. I need a word in private. Let's go. Why should you grabbing him like that? And he's dead. Donuts. No way, man. Oh! Oh! It's for the kids. What are you doing? <laughs> and he's just putting it back. You know what? This is good. I'm getting that sense of good writing here again. Because this is making me not like him. That way I'm actually happy when he dies and not just, oh, okay, he's dead. Come on, Chucky, kill him. No! What is this man doing? No! Yeah, no, this guy is deplorable. No, what's wrong with this Don? Oh! Don't fall on that, man. Oh, you fell on it! You idiot! I can't move. Oh, I went into a spine. I hit your spinal cord. Oh, no. Damn! It's a gift. Oh! You see my problem? You don't even have an alibi. Wait, how doesn't he have an alibi when he didn't do it? Yeah, wasn't he at home? No, he was at that grave thing, remember? Oh! So he does have an alibi, so what's going on there? Uh, I guess since it's not like something that can be necessarily proved, it doesn't count. No, because it's still an alibi, and it's obviously truthful, so he can say that. So there's no reason True. for him to not say it, which is, I don't understand what's going on. What do you know about Oliver's death? It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Why is he baiting him out? Why is he baiting himself out? Then this is getting retarded, man. I'm getting triggered. He doesn't have to say this, man. Why is he being kind of cryptic? Why is he being stupid? I don't understand. Not what you think. I don't know anything, but it's not what you think. I don't know, man. This writing, this entire episode has been kind of weird. <laughs> that is mental, though. Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the writing of that episode was a bit, it was a bit off. Yeah, I oh, don't know. It just didn't feel consistent with the other episodes. It's hard to explain. But it, it was just it was something off with the writing there. I'd probably give that episode six. What would you give it? I'll also have to say six. Yeah.